What's up everyone? This is Max Red. Today we're going to go over some basic chord progressions in Cubase 11 Pro. Let's get started. Once you've opened up a new project, the first step is to add a chord track. So hit the plus sign here on the track selector, hit chord, hit add track, and there you go. I like to put my chord track as number one on my channel list just to see what I'm doing. For this video, we're just going to do four bars. So set your guides to four bars, hit slash on your keyboard, and now you can loop. So the next step is to choose a VST instrument. Now right here I have preloaded contact from my library and since I'm going for a basic piano sound, I've chosen Noir from Native Instruments. Next, we have to link our chord track to our VST instrument. I'm using contact so that's the one that I'll be selecting. In order to draw in our chords, we must change our cursor to the pencil tool. Now you can draw them anywhere you want. I'm going to put one chord at each bar for this demonstration. Now we go back to our first chord and click on it. As you can see, there's a list of possible scales that we can choose. I'm going to choose F minor. Now you click on the right arrow and it'll move the options to the next chord. Click on the chord assistant and you'll have a list populated, the proximity and the circle of fifths in relation to the F minor root note. I like to use proximity because it's more visual for me. So for my second chord, I'll choose G. I click and move it over to my third chord and I'll choose C. Click again to the fourth chord and we'll go with B flat. Now that our chords are in place, let's see how they sound together. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up to 130 BPM. A little bit more up tempo. I'm also going to add another chord on that fourth quarter measure of the last bar. For that last chord, I'll choose E flat. Let's see what that sounds like. At this point, if you're happy with your chord tracks, you can highlight them and move them over to your VST instrument. Don't forget to mute your chord tracks so you don't hear it twice when you're playing. Let's see what that sounds like. Since we were able to move all of our chords to the VST instrument, it allows us to work in piano roll. So we're going to shorten up these notes and shorten up the event to fit our four bar loop. We're also going to highlight all the events and use our glue tool so it becomes one event. You see how the notes show up in piano roll. So here we can work on it. We can work on velocity, add notes, move them around, whatever you'd like. Right now, I'm just going to go up an octave. So I highlight all the notes. I go to my pitch and I go up one full octave to F2. Let's see what that sounds like. You can see how this could be a valuable tool, especially when you're writing music or trying to match the scale to a project. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, click on the link and send me a comment. Thank you.